year ago, it was maybe the hottest commodity in the country. Who could forget images like this? Americans buying up toilet paper in the early and uncertain days of the pandemic. While big name brands dominate store shelves, there was enough room for a small startup headed by two sisters to roll out their own line of TP. Christina Ruffini has their story. When sisters Nandigi and Luis Issa roll up to deliver a box of their environmentally friendly bamboo toilet paper, people get a little weird. We would go to people's house and just drop them off and they'll get so excited. It felt like we were... Um, Publishing Clearhouse. <laughs> like, but instead of a check, we come into you with a box of like toilet paper. People be jumping up and down. The excitement could be because Lore Tush is tree-free, hypoallergenic, and more sustainable than the traditional stuff. Or it could be because they arrived just in time. We try to be fast just in case, you know. <laughs> just in case they... <laughs> just in case they really need it. Um. <laughs> The sisters do most of their business in this cramped thousand square foot storage space in downtown Baltimore. Their initial goal was to find a cheap, renewable product that could help their community go green. We started to research what kind of sustainable product we can introduce to people who look like us. And after a bunch of research, we landed on toilet paper. Why is that? We just try to figure out what's something like an everyday use that somebody can easily exchange. And afford. And afford, yeah. With a loan from a friend and money from savings, they sourced about 7,000 rolls from an overseas producer. Then COVID hit, and the economy started to unravel. Once COVID happens, we decided to, instead of selling it, just to give it away to our community. How come? Because we know what it feels like. We know what it feels like to lose a job. We know what it feels like to have no money. And we know what it feels like to not be able to afford essential things. They gave away about 5,000 rolls to anyone who needed them other local businesses started to take notice. If we're gonna invest in uh, a local company, we wanna make sure that they have some type of other impact, right, in the community. That to us was very appealing. Jason Bass is the Director of Culture and Impact at Revival, a boutique hotel, where every bathroom is now well stocked with Lore Tush. Our first order was actually a year's supply. Um, oh wow, you yeah. went all for it. We went all for it. We wanted to make sure we supported it out the gate. And the response has been fantastic. Like people have noticed your toilet paper. They've actually noticed it. They've written reviews about the toilet paper. And some people have walked out with a fresh roll of toilet paper. I mean, I guess if people are stealing it, you know they like it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's one way of finding out if you have a fan. <laughs> the sisters are now in talks with other hotels across the East Coast. It's important to see that these small businesses, these black-owned businesses, are getting supported by large organizations, and they are capable of meeting the demand. And although the original idea was to reach an often overlooked group, the Issa sisters say switching to bamboo toilet paper, even if it's not their brand, is a great way to give a sheet about the planet. We still want to reach people who look like us, but we want to reach everyone who wants the opportunity to do something different. You can be sustainable, too. It's not for one type of person. Yeah. And anyone can do this. Just find your way in. Yeah, and then you can have fun while you're doing it. Yeah, be yourself. <laughs> or, as it says on each package... Wipe on, player. Wipe on. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Christina Ruffini, Baltimore. Ah, wipe, on wipe on play. I love nice. it. Play, yeah. Can you spare a square? It's a good, great, great story. Yeah. With respect, though, I think we could sometimes bamboo toilet may paper not, be is not quite as because soft. you've used this before. Comfy as. But what a great idea! I have it is a great idea. I, it's no sustainable. One's it's for the planet. Rafinha, we've got to bring greenhouse gases down to zero. Well, so said. I'm just saying that.